we are back out here once again on Reventuli Coast today, and I should probably say right here at the beginning, the new Great One has been found, if you guys haven't heard, and it is Black Bear. So I think that's going to be pretty interesting, and we are going to definitely spend some time grinding to try to get a Great One Black Bear, but I wanted to kind of stick to Reventuli Coast for now. Today is Wednesday, so today the plan is to go after Waterfowl and probably some Upland Birds. Tomorrow I'd like to get after Raccoon Dogs a little bit, and then I think this weekend, probably Friday on stream, and maybe both videos for the weekend, we'll do some Great One Black Bear grinding setup, all that stuff, maybe even a little guide for hotspots. But anyway, Reventuli Coast is our map for the day, and we'll see if we can have any success with the Waterfowl. It looks like we might have our first opportunity to do some Wigeon hunting. They were the first species of waterfowl that we saw on Reventuli in early access, but I don't think we ever shot any, so I was just kind of going off memory. I thought that this area might have them, and I think we should get a chance here. Now, I did not equip the color. I wasn't planning on them being here so quick, but if they'll come down and land, we'll try to get them. Looks like they're gonna as well. So we got, I think, the better Drake coming down there first. I'm not exactly sure where stuff's gonna land, but that area will work decently enough. Yeah, that was the better of the two. I kind of hate to shoot them off the water, but I wasn't sure what's what. They're kind of taking off. That one looked really dark. It didn't look like we got it, actually. And for some reason, that one and that one are just kind of sitting there. I don't know what this may have been. It actually looks more common now that we see it in the distance. But the way that kind of worked out, we didn't end up getting either that we shot at in the air and then we got the two on the water. Brown hen, I assume that's kind of the common. And then for the drake, or at least I think this was the drake, looks that way, a brown as well. Diamond is 905, so that's good to know. We'll get the collar and then maybe consider moving our blind a little bit. I like this because it was kind of right up against the reeds, maybe a bit of a realistic look, but if they continue kind of landing out there, I think we're going to need to adjust a bit. Ooh, no way. A level 3 tough to duck, but it spooked off as we were getting set up. I've got the 22 age. Odds are we are not going to get that. And honestly, that is all fine with me. It's kind of circling back around. They are absolutely way too fast for me to feel like I have any shot at hitting this. Pretty cool to see. And I would bet that they are going to come back. So I noticed two flocks of ducks went over from this spot and they weren't you couldn't spot them so i assume they must have not been wigeon clearly setting up tough to duck decoys was the move and now we've got two species to pay attention to and hopefully that level three comes back and figures it would just get crazy here immediately after that happens best i can tell this is a separate flock of tough to ducks got two of them there there were actually widgeons starting to come in as well when they were getting to land, but I don't at least immediately see any that were high level. But that is what gets so tough. When you get multiple flocks coming in and the timing can be different where maybe one flock's ready to land and one flock's still far out, tough to kind of spot everything and see what's going on. But got a hen there. I thought this one may have been a drake and that looks to be the case, but of course not our level three. Now, thinking back to the early access, we had a golden eye with a really good estimate, and the way that we approached that was we went and hunted other things for a while, then came back, and he ended up being their maybe first or second flock. So I want to give this one to two flocks, maybe see if he comes back, and if he doesn't, we'll kind of continue our hunt and return back here. For those that don't know, the early access portion of Reventulico is any of the trophies we shot during that basically didn't count uh they didn't go to our main save so the diamond eurasian teal that we shot is also gone away which basically means if we could get this level three we might have our first official diamond waterfowl once again though i don't see our level three in this flock try to get that guy that's a drake as well but again they're so fast and you know what Maybe the move is, for one, probably not the zero for 75 meters. That was a bit of a mistake. But it might be worthwhile carrying two shotguns. Because if we end up not being reloaded, it can be a bit of a problem. But I think we got two drakes that time. Make sure we're loaded for the next flock. 
And yeah, hopefully it's gonna have that level three in it. If it does not, we will move on. Pretty decent sized gold there. But uh, I guess we'll see, got some beanies going by as well. And just in time, we've got our gold. We've got, I think, Widgeon coming in based on that sound. That is not a duck at all. I know I heard one. No sign of him in this flock either. Unless I'm missing something, but I think I've gotten them all spotted. So once we get an opportunity to shoot these whenever they decide to land, we'll probably head off and go and look for maybe other waterfowl. Possibly go straight to upland birds. We'll kind of see. But uh, we'll be definitely coming back here to see if we can get him to come back in. I like our odds just based on, again, the fact that on early access, we did actually manage to see the same duck without a huge amount of time put in. And my goodness, we only got one out of that flock. That was not really ideal. I'm still kind of unsure about where to put this blind. It's a tough spot because the reeds kind of block a lot of the area that I'd like to put it. But at least we did get the one, wherever that landed at, a pretty good hiding spot, I gotta say. Was a silver drake, but at least potentially a respawn, even though we do have a level three on the map. And yeah, we'll just kind of continue our way down through here. I guess we'll just go this way and see what we find. It really seems like there are black growls just about everywhere. It doesn't seem to matter where we go. We always encounter them. There's actually a better one there. We can shoot those off the ground, so even though our shooting has been absolutely subpar and maybe shooting some tarmigan and stuff like that as we go along will let us practice for the tough to duck in a bit, we can uh, kind of keep on going through here and look, but I don't know that I've shot many black grouse down in here. Good to know they're in this area as well. From one grouse species to the next, we've got a hazel grouse over in there. There's a max weight caper Kaylee track, and we did get this dirt edge. It is a dark uh, plumage type, which is the common, but I think the community pretty quickly caught on to the fact that they seem to be similar to turkeys in that diamonds aren't all that rare, but some of the rare plumage types, the leucistic, I think there's a pale, they look incredible. So not only do we not have a diamond caper Kaylee uh, after early access, because again, those trophies are wiped away, but as we're looking for a diamond, the other thing we can do is keep on shooting the males and, and try to get some respawns for hopefully future rares. So finally confirmation he is a level two. Just kind of flying up through there. I think we put a little too much lead on that first shot. I want to say the third one hit him. They have a kind of subtle animation where there's just something that changes about their flight path when you do hit them. And I thought I saw that. Did he die already? I guess we hit him better than I thought because he is down, but not too bad as we're going through all the different kind of upland bird species and I don't know if Caper Kaylee technically fall into that category. I know the Grouse and Ptarmigan kind of more so fit that, but we have our third in a row here. 4.4, not too bad. And I guess maybe now is a good time to introduce the kill that I had last night, just while wrapping up, opening up the map, getting all the lookouts and outposts. This is so cool. I just unlocked this lookout and I can see out here a bunch of stuff going on. There's a lynx running around, and there's all these ptarmigan, and there is a level three male rock ptarmigan, 690 to 752. I want to say diamond is like 709 or 710, so lots of room in there for him to make it, but again, ptarmigan are the species we have to shoot out of the air, so probably the best move here is gonna be to kinda crouch in, take it real slow, make sure we get the right one spotted, and try to get him you know, ideally under 30 meters when we flush him, and we'll see, maybe our first upland bird diamond here. There are a lot of things these days that require such a slow approach, so I'm trying to look and see the plumage type. I think it's molting, which is a pretty good looking bird for the rock ptarmigan. I want to say that's what that is, but we've got a ways to go. I've basically marked where he's at, markers off by a bit going to attentive so probably crawling in from here but as long as they stay feeding he should just kind of sit in that area probably not the best news that we just got a warning call because we can't really see where we're at are they fleeing they are that's him there so 
if we can get by this tree, because of course we have a little time until they flush. Now the problem is we gotta make sure we keep track of him. That's him. As soon as he gets well airborne, we'll try to make that shot. Got a little room in there to get an extra one. And that is the first time we've seen a max level upland bird. And it is a rock ptarmigan, one of my favorites. Pretty cool, I think that's the molting. So, moment of truth. It is a 725 diamond, well into that diamond range, well beyond the 709 mark. Got him at 25 meters, so plan worked out. It is the molting plumage type. Pretty cool. I'm trying to remember. I think it's Willow Tarmigan that goes in the multi mount with the raccoon dog, so this guy will be on his own somewhere. But I can't wait to go and check that out in the lodge. That's been a, a big thing since we got the reveal of this map. Thinking of all of the smaller species that would go on some of those plaques and I guess it starts now. That was pretty neat and one of the tough ones out of the way because again rock ptarmigan and willow ptarmigan need to be shot out of the air. Everything else can be shot on the ground which allows you to shoot them in the distance with the 22 and can avoid some of the difficult parts but we've got another max weight keeper Kaylee track. I wanted to maybe see if we could locate that kind of going in all different directions here but if we can figure it out and I'd say a run track is a good start maybe we can get straight from one to another I'd say that's a morning calling it is a level two and again like turkeys level twos can be diamond I almost think we're better off going bird shot here we have one shot and I think we hit it we definitely did not half bad I really think 22 LR maybe 22H I struggle with to hit birds flying in the air as we saw with the tough to duck earlier and I guess that's maybe one other thing we should do. I was planning on doing multiple setups today until that level 3 showed up but maybe we should grab the 22LR just in case. But another max weight Caper Kaylee down 4.5 this time getting closer 4.64 is diamond for them. Three pellets hit that there at 44 meters but I say Maybe we go down to this lake or something, just kind of see what's going on. It is white yellow drink time, so maybe we could encounter something there. And we'll probably go back and look for that tough to duck again. I really, really want to start getting some of the waterfowl diamonds out of the way. And no one there's a three there. It's tough to not just go back and, and sit there and wait. And there are some whitetail here, as there seem to be at pretty much every lake on this map. A ton of whitetail. I happen to think that... This map probably will become the top Great One Whitetail grinding map pretty quickly. It just, it seems like no matter where you go, there are an absolute ton of bucks. And for the sake of hunting pressure, who knows if we'll come back here for waterfowl or anything like that. I think the lake is big enough that it could work. We'll just kind of take the two max weight bucks and go from there. But I think on that note, with what should be two golds, unless we had a vertebrae shot or something, two golds indeed, we'll go back and... Try to get that tough to duck. Ooh, there is our level three. I didn't even know he was in this flock. Way towards the back, and that is the thing. It's so easy to lose them, so finally, we get to see him again, and hopefully, we'll be able to get him to land where we can see. I didn't expect him to go that quickly. That will work well enough, I suppose. I would have preferred to shoot him a little higher up, but... I guess if there is a silver lining to that, we shot him airborne and it doesn't matter. You can shoot them off the water, but it just seems a little better to shoot them out of the air. I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? It's the pellet impact. I thought there was some red in his feathers. I thought maybe it was an uncommon or something, but he is the important part. A diamond at 973, 10 above, right lung shot. That is pretty cool. I really wanted to get a diamond tough to duck. Cool to add one as our first official diamond waterfowl, as I said, all this time later, and then we actually killed a couple in that flock as well as they were flying off. I think both hens, but we'll check them out. 809 silver, and there was one that was a little farther away, I thought, all the way back here across the little walkway, but another hen, 729 score, and I think on that note, we'll go back to the trophy lodge. We've got a diamond rock ptarmigan and a diamond tufted duck to place. Now, I am of the opinion that birds like the ptarmigan are actually going to look better on these little round platforms. I like that there are flying poses as well. 
I'm kind of, as far as realism goes, and I try to at least work in a little bit of realism for stuff, you could maybe argue there could be something coming out of the wall holding it there. Because it is a little odd to be able to have just something hovering, but we'll, we'll go with that as far as our ptarmigan. As for the tufted duck, we've got this wall of ducks in here, and I think over the course of hunting Reventuli and hopefully acquiring those diamonds, we'll be able to add species to this, but here is our diamond tufted duck next to a harlequin duck and a mallard. And one thing I'm really hoping, by the way, is that maybe the mallard, harlequin duck, and cinnamon teal get a rework in score, because it is a little bit weird to look at a diamond tufted duck at 973, and beside it, a 7.5 harlequin and a 19.9 mallard. The numbers are just nowhere near even similar, but I really like it. I love the models for these. I think they did such a good job. I think they are my favorite duck species, so pretty cool to get a first diamond waterfowl officially as that species, but pretty cool. Two of the diamond birds off the list, and honestly, a whole lot more to go. I don't even know what the number is. I know I need a lot, and we're going to be spending a bunch more time on Reventuli, and I guess it looks like, in between, grinding for a great one, Black Bear. Like I said, this weekend, we're going to get onto that. Tomorrow, I think we're going to chase raccoon dogs and maybe some upland birds again, and we'll kind of see where that gets us. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.